All right, we have the final limited time series of the current version 7.3.5 or 6, right? Um, and it is for one of the older cars, uh, 2013 Lamborghini Veneno. All right, so if you don't own this car, of course, limited time series, always a good way to win a car since essentially you're paying for upgrades but the car is free right um, and if you want to make any progress in your career or whatever series the car is featured and you're gonna have to upgrade the car anyway so and we get actually 100 gold for completing the series for the effort so sure and oh look at that we get a little uh, I guess inspirational video from Dario Franchitti for the limited time series so yeah check that out uh, but for now I'm going to skip that because this is what I'm really after to uh, do a overview series overview as always right so it is for uh, earn a 2013 Lamborghini Veneno by 100% completing this special limited time series the usual message the marketing material right an incredibly striking and extraordinarily rare evolution of the Aventador and a celebration of Lamborghini's 50th anniversary yeah um, very large car <laughs> at least in the game um, and here's the breakdown of those 100 gold rewards in 25% completion increments now this car because it's one of the older cars it's got um, let's say legacy upgrade scheme where you have a quite a few racing dollar upgrades early on so I have a feeling that uh, we're gonna be able to at least get past 25% completion with racing dollar upgrades alone that's my guess now um, this series is gonna be running through July 1st Monday um, or that's when it expires so for me because I'm on the Western Hemisphere in USA that's most likely gonna be actually Sunday um, June 30th when this series is going to expire right before they um, release the next version 7.4 and they have published that PR requirement to complete this series is 83 so uh, let's uh, use the gold and confirm if that is indeed true but uh, here before I do that let me uh, just cloud save for to make sure I don't accidentally uh, delete some my progress or really get accidentally uh, cloud save which would not be good because I'm gonna be using gold to skip everything 1860 gold by the way the car is still worth 900 gold the base PR is 70.3 when it's maxed out it goes all the way up to 86 the PR that is and the service time is a long one it takes over five hours to service this car so yeah <laughs> so hopefully this series we can run in critical condition pretty deep um, but uh, okay 100% completion 100 gold and the car of course
All right. So there it is. Got those uh, Italian green and red stripes, pinstripes on the side. Of course, pretty cool. All right, so let's confirm the final tier, tier 15. Uh, cup race is gonna be at Porsche Test Track. Three lapper, long road circuit, 29 upgrades available. Uh, PR83 is what is required. So, all right. Now, as I said, we're starting with a base PR of 70.3. And this car does have full seven categories. Yes, some older cars. You gotta make sure that, uh, <laughs> I gotta make sure that they all have every category that we typically see in more recent releases. Because some older cars don't have all the, um, as you know, like Sylvia does not have uh, this many different categories for upgrades, you know. Anyway, let's check out what this is going to be costing me here. All right. Um, 12 hour R&D, the wait time, right? That's the important part about these upgrades, right? So that is in line with most legend class cars. Most uh, cars with this high PR does tend to take 12 hour first tier racing dollar upgrades and this one is no exception at least for the beginning so 207,200 racing dollars for engine and 192,800 for first tier drive train 12 hour wait time on that one as well in the body, 153,000 or 153,200. <laughs> Another 12 hour wait on that one. Suspension, 176,700. All right, so it's still racing dollar upgrades here. And exhaust, 174,800. All right, as I said, the more important part, I think, for most players is going to be the fact that it takes 12 hours. All right, brakes, always the cheapest one, 153,100 racing dollars. And finally, tires and wheels, 162,200. All right, so first tier is all good with the racing dollars. But more importantly, let's find out how far this uh, first tier brings our PR up to. It goes up to 74.2. All right. So that is exactly um, 3.9, right? PR boost. Let's punch that in here um, all right so that is what gets uh, what we get with the first tier cash upgrades let's check out the what we have on the second tier remember there's a good chance this is not gonna be gold upgrades and it isn't all right, so racing dollars, and it's a one day, not 18 hours, which is typically what follows 12 hour uh, upgrade. No, we're going to skip straight up to one day R&D time for the second tier racing dollar upgrade. But at least it's not gold, right? So let's uh, find out. Um, OK, so 310 for engine, drive train. We got racing dollars here as well, which is a good news. And then body, same thing. Another racing dollar second tier upgrade. Suspension, we're still good. All right. And exhaust also. So, so far, all racing dollar second tier upgrades. And we only have what one category left tires and wheels and that is 
racing dollar upgrade as well. Alright, so we're starting at 74.2. Let's see how far this next uh, second tier upgrades brings our PR up to. Goes up to 78.2. And that is using um, two tiers of all racing dollar upgrades. So that is exactly four PR point boost, right? So um, you just have to <laughs> give it time, right? Since it's a full full day so okay so with the so far racing dollar upgrades only we are up to 78.2 let's see third tier upgrades what do we have okay this is where we have to spend gold all right uh, we'll ha hold off on this let's find out how far we can go with the racing dollars because we still have uh, more racing dollar upgrades as you can see now we're up to 36 hour or one day 12 hour R&D time for third tier racing dollar upgrade here. So a drive train. Um, yeah, let's get that. And how about body? Same thing. We got racing dollar upgrades for body as well. All right. So every category, we need to bring it up to 80. Um, 80. What was the? PR requirement 85 or 83 right so um, are we gonna be able to no, now we got all gold upgrades for these final tiers let's see this is the way it used to be the final upgrade in each category used to be the expensive one um, but uh, you know those are back in the day now in distant memory so at least we're able to get add two more racing dollar upgrades here so let's see where that brings us to so that will be with a 16 upgrades brings PR up to 79.2 so that is the limit of your racing dollars alone right we can get 16 upgrades which is actually pretty good because most new cars you get seven before you have to start spending gold right so anyway uh, now let's see 79.2 gold for the fourth tier which is gonna be higher than all the other yeah so what we're looking for is um, well, and then these later um, categories all these upgrades are dead-end upgrades but they are going to be cheaper because that's a lower tier gold upgrade um, maybe except for well engines always expensive so we got 125 but most likely it's gonna unlock the next tier racing dollar upgrade so it's like getting paying for two upgrades in a way so let's see if we can spend 125 gold here and get the next tier upgrade of uh, two day wait time 699,300 racing dollars two days yikes all right so if we do that um, what was the PR up to here let's get that done we're up to 80.2 all right so we're getting pretty close um, we still have 2.8 more PR points that we gotta add don't we Let's see uh, 80.9 80.9 so these are all giving me about well this one's less 0.5 but there are 0 0.6 0 0.7 so they're all around let's say average 0.6 and we got one two three four categories of dead-end upgrades 
Um, and considering body upgrade, 140 gold, but most likely it's going to unlock the next tier racing dollar upgrade. So once again, kind of like what we did with engine and bodies, one of the cheaper upgrades. I think it's the second cheapest usually, the cheapest being the brakes upgrade. So let's uh, spend 140 gold here. And yes, we it does unlock that next tier racing dollar upgrade. Now this one's up to 775,300 racing dollars. And uh, by the way, the longest wait time on all racing dollar upgrades do cap out at two day. There's no like one week wait or anything like that because it's on the later um, tier. So pretty much once you hit um, two day wait time, that's all we need. And with that, we are up to 81. All right. So, whoa, 290 gold. That is uh, 180 gold. So these are, and that's a dead end upgrade. And body, we're up to five out of six upgrades, 320 gold. And that is also a dead end upgrade. So we're gonna have to hopefully um, get remainder of two PR points using the remaining four categories, right? So. Uh, 110 for suspension, 105 for exhaust, 80 for brakes, and 100 for tires and wheels. So let's start with the cheapest one, right? We get the brakes, 80 uh, gold to bring it up to 81.5. And then I believe tires and wheels was the next, right? Yeah. 100 gold is tires and wheels. That does bring the PR up to 82.1. So this is 0.9 shy, but I have a feeling neither of these are gonna get me quite high enough. 105 and 110 and neither of them, yes, quite reached the target that we needed to reach. And the others are all 290, 320, well these are, as I said, dead end upgrades, that does not give us enough of a PR boost. And 290, how much are these? 110 and 105, so it's still cheaper to get both suspension and exhaust compared to getting engine, even though it is going to most likely unlock the next tier racing dollar upgrade. So 105 gold for exhaust. So max out exhaust and uh, max out suspension for another 110 gold. And that's going to give us PR of 83.5. So we're a little bit above the target, but uh, I believe that's the cheapest way to bring the PR to meet the required number here. So here's the upgrade scheme that I've arrived at. Four upgrades on engine, three on drivetrain, five on body, and then the remaining uh, three, upgra three upgrade categories, suspension, exhaust, brakes, and tires and wheels max out all three upgrades. So what is the total cost then? Let's see, it's 660 gold for um, 900 gold car. So this one uh, does not quite work in, see these older cars doesn't really follow the, the, the formula that I use for you know, the formula that I use, by the way, to figure out the upgrade rough uh, estimate of upgrade cost is basically you add the cost of the car plus the reward and you divide it in half, right? But in this case, um, that would mean the upgrade cost should be around 500 gold, but uh, 
No, <laughs> not in this case. Uh, it's a bit higher, 660 gold and um, over 5 million racing dollars. That takes three and a half days for upgrading. So those racing dollar upgrades are gonna take a while to get done. So get them going if you're planning on upgrading the car to win this series. But now the important thing is, uh, well, how far can you go without spending gold, right? So let's run through the series here and see if uh, we can figure out what kind of PR each tier requires. All right, so tier one, elimination at Bugatti circuit. Ah, new circuit, that's cool. Autocross at Brands Hatch. And the cup is going to be at Red Bull Ring National Circuit. Just a single lap. Uh, that's a quick one for a car of this caliber. All right, tier two, head to head at Silverstone. Single lapper, just international circuit there. Speed Snap at Dubai Grand Prix. And the cup is going to be at Melbourne. Another, just a single lap. So these are pretty short races. Uh, with a PR requirement of 72.4, so obviously you're gonna need some upgrades, if even if it's not all the first tier racing dollar upgrades, since it's more than the stock. Okay, moving on to tier three, we got Hunter at New York, um, speed record at Monza Road Course, so that's a full lap, and the cup is at the Brickyard, Indianapolis Motor Speedway, uh, road course, another single lap cup, and PR requirement 73.6. Moving on, the important tier, right? Uh, this is the 25% completion tier for 10 gold. All right, I know, not a whole lot, but hey, if we can get free gold for racing dollars, then it's a good day, right? Okay, we got Endurance at Hockenheim Grand Prix, Elimination at Circuit of the Americas National Circuit, and the Cup at Catalonia Grand Prix, another single lapper cup race, with the PR requirement of 74.4. All right, so, um, it is higher than what we can achieve with racing the uh, the first tier racing dollars alone. But because, if you remember, second tier is entirely racing dollars alone, and couple of, there are a couple of categories of third tier that is racing dollars. So without spending any gold, we can bring the car's PR all the way up to 79.2. So 25% completion, definitely doable with racing dollars alone, which is pretty good. That's 10 gold, in fact. At the rate it's going, I think we might be able to claim another 20 gold, 50% um, completion without spending gold either. All right, uh, let's move on. Tier five, we got Speed Snap at Mazda Raceway. Hunter at 24 hour circuit, and the cup is gonna be at Mount Panorama. Are we going to get longer races? No, just a single lap here as well. All right, PR requirement 75.2. Okay, tier six, drag race. It's a drag race. Do you care <laughs> where it's at? And autocross at Suzuka Grand Prix and the cup for tier six at Daytona Motorcycle Course most likely rolling start with two laps all right and 76 is the pr requirement and tier seven this is the tier that you need to complete in order to be able to claim the 50 percent completion reward of 20 gold so let's see tier seven we got speed record at berlin uh, endurance at spa and the cup is going to be at Nürburgring uh, Sprint Circuit, two laps, 
with the PR requirement of 76.7. So that is well below 79.2, which is what we can get with racing dollars alone. So yeah, 50% completion doable without spending any gold. So that is 30 gold that we can, I guess you can call it swap for racing dollars. I said it's not bad. Um, all right, and then tier eight, you need to claim two gold trophies here to claim that, by the way. Although I have a feeling the cup, you should be able to complete it as well without the gold upgrades here. All right, so elimination at the Red Bull Ring Grand Prix, head to head at Daytona Road Course, single lapper, of course, most likely rolling start, and the cup at the Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix is going to be now we get double lapper Grand Prix. And, all right, daily reward, all right, and um, PR requirement 77.3. All right, so that is still well under 79.2. So, yep, 50% definitely doable without any gold upgrades. All right, let's move on to tier nine. Speed snap at the long road circuit of Porsche Test Track. Hunter is gonna be at Mount Panorama. And Cup at Dubai International Circuit, three laps with the PR requirement of 78. All right. And tier 10, we got autocross at Catalonia Club. Uh, you know what I say about that one. That's a quick one. Speed record at Silverstone National, and we got a Bugatti Circuit Cup, three laps. That should be fun with a PR requirement of 78.7. So we're still gonna be cruising through here with bracing dollars alone. And tier 11. This is the one that you gotta get through to claim 75% completion. So this is the important tier, that last cup race. If it's under 79.2 uh, PR, then 75% completion is possible. That's a 60 gold, right? Okay, so endurance at Suzuka West, drag race at Monza Road Course. Well, it's a drag race. And let's check out what the this triple lap Hockenheim Grand Prix Cup is gonna require. Is it under 79? Uh, nope, it's not. <laughs> you do need gold upgrade for this one. So unfortunately, they bring us very, very close. But um, of course, there were no gold upgrade. That is, um, what was the cheapest gold upgrade? It was still in 80, right? Yeah, 80 gold was the cheapest gold upgrade that went to breaks, which means at this point, um, we get, the, this is the limit. We, we hit the net negative uh, gold. So, but still, 70, I mean, 50% completion is doable with racing dollars alone. And this is where you're gonna have to break the, the gold piggy bank to with, start withdrawing gold. So if you, if your goal is to accumulate gold, then I would definitely run through at least 50% of this limited time series so you can claim that 30 gold. But if you can afford it, why not run through and uh, win the car with uh, quite a few upgrades because if you, well, I'll talk about the series it's featured in after I run through the limited time series. So let's, let's complete this first limited time series overview. Tier 12, you need one gold trophy here and 
you know, in order to get past tier 11, you needed to get, uh, you are just 0.1 PR point shy of being able to accomplish this with racing dollars alone. So how did they know? <laughs> well, of course they know it's their game, right? Anyway, tier 12, we got head to head at Indianapolis Motorsport a Speedway Road Course, single lapper, Hunter at Nürburgring Grand Prix. So now we're getting some longer races here. Well, longer as in uh, full lap Grand Prix, multiple events in a single tier. And then we got Cup at Silverstone Bridge Grand Prix, three laps with the PR requirement of 80 even. All right. So once you make it past uh, tier 11, basically I would say you're in it to win it because otherwise you're kind of wasting your gold. You know what I mean? I mean, if you're spending gold, might as well you want to win, right? At least end up with a car to show for, right? So tier 13, speed record at Brands Hatch, uh, elimination at Mazda Raceway, and the cup at spa how many laps two laps and the pr requirement 80.7 okay tier 14 endurance at melbourne speed snap in new york and cup at berlin let's see four laps Ooh, i'm gonna enjoy that one i do like that circuit and uh yeah um I don't know if you guys got a chance to see my last upload of the time trial competition at Berlin with the Formula E Season 5 car. Um, using just the first tier racing dollar upgrades, I was able to land uh, top 5% for 25 gold, so that ain't too shabby if you ask me. <laughs> In fact, um, my other accounts where I have 20, well, not 20, 18 upgrades, three upgrades across the board for Formula E cars since they don't use exhaust. Um, there are six categories, so when you get three upgrades across the board on those, you end up with a, not 21 upgrades, but 18 upgrades. Anyway, um, yeah, and those have gold upgrades, six gold upgrades invested in those. I ended up basically in the same rank. <laughs> So maybe I'm just better running without upgrades than I am with upgrades. Who knows? It's a mystery. But anyway, PR requirement here is 81.4 to complete this 14th, the Pen Ultimate tier. Finally, tier 15, we got autocross at Dubai National, head to head at Manza Road Course, single lapper, and the final cup race. At Leipzig long road circuit three uh, triple lap with the PR requirement of 83 as we confirmed earlier so that is that was there any um, event that might pose a trouble well anytime you're dealing with a speed record all those speed record at Brands Hatch is not as bad as speed snap simply because you can turn around and extend the longest stretch at the circuit so I don't see that being a trouble um, eh, Hunter head to head anytime you have a event that runs a full lap generally is doable even when your car is in critical condition and uh, well drag race is always a question mark when you're running in critical condition right because when you're as far into the series as tier 11 bots might be faster you know so that is that might require you to service the car speed record at silverstone national might be tricky um so that's a, another question mark for servicing and uh, speed snap as i said k 
can always be a tricky one, but the Leipzig track is, Porsche test track is typically not a stickler, you know, relatively straightforward track. And then elimination in tier 8, I don't think it's going to give us much trouble there. Uh, speed record at Berlin, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Um, and tier 6 drag race should be doable. Because now that we're in the first half of the series, so bots are not quite as advanced. Um, speed snap at Laguna Seca is pretty easy. Uh, yeah, so possibly you might have to service the car maybe once, but uh, we'll see how it turns out, right? So anyway, as I was saying about the, what was I saying about the PR requirement for the limited time series, it is 83 right when this car is maxed out it uh, PR does go up to 86 um, the bonus series this car is featured in there too one is actually a main career series called vertex series and the other one that this uh, winning this car through the limited time series is gonna unlock is the one that you see Tour del Toro it's the full Lamborghini yes you guessed it right series so that features the three Lamborghinis Asterian, Veneno and Sesto Elemento and in that group Sesto Elemento is most likely the best car but to complete that series 100% uh, PR requirement is only 83 so if you bring your this Veneno's PR8 up all the way up to 83 to win the car then you are automatically guaranteed to well I guess you cannot really 100% complete without the other cars because these uh, bonus series is going to have a showcase event but at least you don't need to upgrade the other two cars as high in order to just uh, do the 100% completion and there's 67 gold reward um, for this series so bonus series these smaller box series typically don't have as high of a payout and then the other series that you have uh, this car is featured in is this main career series vertex spirit it's one of the newer series that was introduced uh, a few updates ago actually now it's almost a year ago isn't it um, when they sort of rearranged and moved migrated a lot of the motorsports cars over into the motorsports section like endurance gt endurance prototypes right so they reorganized and came up with this new main career series called vertex spirit and this one has 76 gold um reward and uh, as you can see, it features three cars, McLaren P1, Renault RS01, and Lamborghini Veneno. And I believe Benino might be the only one that can complete this 100%. Um, PR requirement to complete this one is 85. So you're not going to be able to quite complete this one 100% with the limited time series PR, but you know depending on your situation um, this series may not even be accessible as you can see because you're gonna have to win 37 or more trophies in Zenith series which is there and then in order to unlock that you need to have gone through Spirit of Ferrari and in order to do that you need to get past the first series supercar elites um do you have to be level 100 to unlock the legend section unless you've been making your uh linear passage through the series like completing elite section of course would unlock this but 
they started letting you uh, have access to this higher section of the career just by leveling up which is I say good idea but anyway so that does it for this video so um, good luck in your pursuit this one you can claim 50% completion 30 gold reward without having to spend any gold so that's not bad and if you decide to go all the way to win it you have to spend 660 gold so that's a quite a bit but you get 100 of it back so 560 and uh, that's the net cost in terms of gold and if you run through the Tour del Toro uh, you should be able to get back at least 75% completion bonus which is what about um, I'm gonna say about 40 gold so yeah so there's definitely some gold to be recouped by winning the car as well so all right well thanks for watching or listening to <laughs> my information video here so good luck and we'll see you in the next video